Welcome back to the Average Mike Show. Yeah, this episode, uh, uh, yeah. hey, <laughs> yeah, we're uh, gonna put in this uh, uh, middle seat uh, in the front of my uh, wife's old uh, Chevy pickup truck here. We're gonna change out this uh, center console, and we're gonna make this a bench seat uh, to make turn this uh, five seater into a six seater pickup truck. Yeah, look at this seat. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, first thing you're going to want to do is put the key into the on position. And, uh, well, this is kind of broken, but... Where's the still on position? Kind of works. You're going to want to put this both seats all the way back. Why? So you get to the bolts up front. Okay, that one's all, 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 already all the way back. And there you got them weird looking, uh, real weird looking nuts to start out with. Nuts? You'll see. It's a 15 millimeter socket. Down the, this hole here. You're actually going to want to put the socket in first. Because, uh, unless you got a 15 millimeter deep socket. I'll show you. Yeah, look at that uh, weird uh, shaped uh, nut that uh, I just pulled out of here. Now, uh, there's uh, one on each side. And uh, on each side of the seat. Then you got to slide the seat forward. I'll show you. And take the same two out of the back. You'll see. Alright, there's that one and there's that one. Now it's time to slide the seat forward and we get to the back two. Now same thing to the back. Oh, this one's smaller, okay. That's a 7 sixteenths socket uh, to pop that one, to pop the back ones loose. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to cheat on this a little bit uh, using my fireman's hammer as a extension. Unfortunately, I can't do that to holding the phone. So, alright. Got all this uh, unbolted here. On this side, all that's left is the disconnect the wiring that goes to the bottom of the, ch the seat. Now I can just pull this whole seat out. Alright, now we got both the seats out. Uh, now all that's left is this uh, center console, which uh, should probably get rid of some of the garbage first. Yeah. Uh, Whoo, sounds like you still got quite a bit of change in there. Man, I'm getting rich. Look at all this change I got down here. And I just put it there and forgot about it. All right, now we got the center console on. All right, that's actually seven millimeter. Got to use this because I don't have one small enough to small use the... Uh, uh, yeah, use a ratchet. So I gotta. There we go. Tape decks out. Go ahead, leave that in the comments if you need one. Yeah, there it is. All right, now I just gotta put the other seats back in uh, over top of it. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, sit into the into the top of these pieces here and put the bolts back in. Put the nuts back in. And uh, reconnect the electrical, and uh, we're just about done with this. There we go. Got that seat lined up. More or less. At least it's on the holes. I get these two in before I lose it. Ha! <laughs> 
reconnect this electrical here underneath the seat so I can move it to get the back set there we go yep the electrical still works okay so I didn't screw that up that's good to know Alright. And there it is, uh, pretty much ready to go, aside from, well, I still gotta put the stereo, uh, put the original stereo back in, uh, since, uh, well, some uh, thief decided he deserves it more than I do. Even though he didn't do a damn thing to work for it, other than take it. But yeah, yeah that, that'll that be uh, the next episode of uh, When Bad Things Happen to Good Trucks. What you got to say to YouTube, Awesome Anton? You got, you got your new seat in, huh? Hey, where's your shoes? Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Like and subscribe. Go check out the channel and uh, see you later. Because this chair is awesome. <laughs> All right.